Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to show you today how to make these, these little key fobs. So I've wanted to make one for a super long time and kept seeing them and kept not making them and I can't believe I waited. They are so cute and so super duper easy to make. You see that? Super pretty, super easy to make and sturdy. Look at how sturdy that is. I was very surprised by that. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. They're super duper easy. So this is the pliers that you use to make them. And this is the hardware. I got a set that had, came with the pliers and three different sets of hardware, uh, three different colors. I think it came with like, I don't know, 40 or something like that. Um, get this one out of here. It's almost like a rose gold. It's super pretty. And then that's the oops, silver and I don't know what you can call that. Almost like a, I'm not sure. It's pretty though. Um, so I am going to also show you how to put a design on one. Super easy. I just weighed this quick. Probably should have weighed it beforehand, but it's okay. It only takes a second. Um, so let me just tell you that these, I, so obviously right now there's no, um, there's no shows going on, at least in my area. Uh, but once shows start back up, I am absolutely selling these at shows um, and festivals and stuff. I like to do festivals and shows and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's real big in my area. But once that starts back up, I am absolutely selling these. People will absolutely love them. And I love that I can put anything I want on. I saw a whole bunch. So I run um, a couple of large Facebook groups for Crick and Silhouette users. I'll link the groups below. Make sure you join us. Um, pretty big groups. The one I'll link below, it's like, 180,000 people and just super friendly, super helpful, super knowledgeable. Um, but so anyway, so I posted these after I made them in one of the groups and people posted all kinds of super neat ones they made. Baseball and um, there was a super nice uh, Black Lives Matter one that I really liked. There was, um, there was one that was a police themed one that the lady made like a um, I don't know how she did it. She, she explained it, but I, I wasn't hundred percent sure. I'm gonna have to ask her again, but it had like a, like a base to it, like a, like a black base, like a black border almost. And then the, the, this part over the top. So imagine like black on either side, it just looked super nice. So there's just so many different things that you can do with these. Um, I'm absolutely, but that's what I'm, they're going to sell like hotcakes at these shows because you can, you can use any niche that you want on them. You make them, they're cute, they're useful. People love useful things, but then you can make it any niche that you want. And of course, you know, niches sell. So I'm going to show you this vinyl. This is something that I just recently got. Super duper pretty. I'm a sucker for shiny, shiny things. I'm the girl who can't walk past the jewelry shop without stopping. Um, so this one, but even this one, that's so basic, but it's cute, right? So let's get to it. Enough talking. Um, let's do this one first. Super duper easy. So you match up the ends. Actually, let me show you this first. So I think I'm going to use this one on there. And so this is only like the third one that I've made. So bear with me. <laughs> They're so easy. I couldn't believe how easy they are. So what I have found works is to clamp it down just a little bit first. And I'll link this set that I got on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. Super nice set. It comes with the pliers. And it comes with, like I said, like about 40 or so of the three different colors. Oh, got a vinyl on my finger. Story of my life. So you just match that up and then stick that right in there, butt it right up to the end and then just finish clamping it and that's all there is to it. So easy. So get a good clamp though. Make sure you get it all the way clamped down. See how it like kind of popped down? 
And you can't believe how sturdy this is. Check that out. That's strong. I couldn't believe it. And that was so easy to make. And these, you can cut them on an air too. It's just faux leather. So this side of it is like soft. Um, and then this side is, of course, the finish side. I cut it finish side down uh, with the side up. And then I cut it on, um, I cut it on bonded. I cut it on an air too, like I said, but you can cut it on a silhouette, a Cameo 4, or Cameo 3. Um, this one was cut on a air 3, or air 2 rather, um, on bonded leather. Uh, I'm sorry, bonded denim. And I added pressure to it. But you could cut these, I mean, you wouldn't even need that. You could cut these with, uh, a pair of scissors if you wanted to. Um, this over here. Let's make this other one. And then I'll show you how to put the... I'm sure you guys probably already know. So let's put the silver one in this. But I'll show you how to put the, uh, the final on it. Oops. Tap it down a little bit so it's a little bit tighter. A little bit easier to deal with. And then just kind of line that up. Put that right in there. Butt it right up against it. Push it down and that's all there is to it. So easy. I mean, I can't believe I waited so long to make these. They're so easy. I mean, I don't know. What do you think you could get for these at a show? I could probably try to try bucks for them if they had a nice, you know, if they had a good niche on it. But, so, I don't know how into niches you guys are. I, I that's... For me, that's what sells. Anything that describes what somebody is as a person. So everybody knows someone who's a cat person, right? So you put some cat paws on there and you put cat lady on there. And I guarantee you someone's going to walk down your aisle and they're going to say, my neighbor's a cat lady. She wants that. And for five bucks, they'll grab it. So, you, you know, you do them like at Christmas time ornaments. I do um, $5 each or uh, three for 12 so you do these the same, five dollars each, three for twelve, and then you're easily making your money on that. They only take a couple minutes to make. Oh. Bear with me. And this font is like for those of you who follow me, I am an absolute font hoarder. Um, I will link this font in the description. So this font, since I have gotten it, I don't think I have maybe ever used a font as many times in a row as I have used this font. It's just, it's just amazing. It's just a great font. So we'll go ahead and take this, kind of line that up. And that's it. That's all there is to that. Take it right off there. Uh, I personally would let this cure for, you know, a day, day and a half, maybe even two before I used it. Just to make sure, maybe even put it under a book. Um, but that's it. That is all there is to that. I wish I could. I wish you could see it better. I wish the camera would get into focus. But it's so pretty. So pretty. So easy. So like I said though, follow, come join me on Facebook. We have a fantastic group. I'll link it in the description. You'll love it there. Everyone is so friendly and so helpful and um, we love to have you. So I'll link that. I'll link all of the things that I used. This was not expensive at all. And like I said, it came with everything you need. It came with this. It came with these. I'll link this font just because you're going to love it. It's fantastic. Um, full leather, you can get it anywhere. They sell it all over the place. Um, and that's, I mean, that's it. That's all there is to it. So have a good day.